No matter how you stack it, this modular shelving makes itself right at home. This clever project is based on boxes you build mixed with inexpensive off-the-shelf doors. The width of the doors dictates the width of the boxes that support them. Since the doors are 14 inches and that's wider than standard boards, you need to cut down some plywood to build the boxes. And whether you're building the box that lays on its side, the box that stands up, or the basic square, the process is essentially the same. So let's start with some cutting tips. Blue styrofoam insulation makes a great surface to cut on. You'll get cleaner cuts with less splintering and it's an easier, safer solution than trying to cut big, unwieldy sheet goods on sawhorses. To get a good straight cut, use a 1x4 or 1x6 as a guide board. Always cut your pieces to width first, and remember, when you're using a circular saw, the overall measurement needs to account for the distance from the edge of the foot to the blade. So in this case, the distance from the blade to the foot is an inch and a half. Add that to the width of the piece you're cutting, and that's where you mark and clamp your guide board. Once your pieces are cut to width, then cut to length. Now you can prep your pieces to build the boxes. Each box has a bottom, two sides, a top, and a back. The joints in the boxes just butt up against each other, and that's a lot easier than miter joints. Because you'll use glue, you'll need to mask off the joints, and spacers are a fast way to find your masking point. Then prime and paint your pieces for those surprising pops of color on the interior of the boxes. Once the pieces dry, you can assemble your boxes. Each box needs an offset so that the face frame is flush and the box sits flat. Use a couple of pieces of scrap that are the correct thickness and place the bottom piece of the box on those to create the offset. Now you'll glue and nail the pieces in this order. A side, the top, the other side, and then the back. Perfect fit. Flip the box on its back to add the face frame. Don't pre-cut these pieces. Cutting them to fit will give you a much better result. Sand, prime, and paint the exteriors of the boxes. Don't forget to fill the nail holes first. One thing to pay attention to Make sure to mask this bit on the interiors of the boxes. It's the point where the face frame sits evenly with the floor of the box and you wouldn't want to paint over your color. Let them dry and stack them up. For the detailed directions, go to lowes.com slash LCI hyphen modular stacking shelf.